Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today, I'm gonna show you what I do when I have so many eggs that I'm not freezing them, I'm not pickling them, but I need to get rid of them because the chickens are laying them like, I don't know, lifesavers, I don't know. <laughs> and when you have a ton of squash. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to solve that problem. Y'all stay tuned. This is just a handful of what I need to can, but I have taken some out for this recipe that I'm doing today. Now I'm gonna sit these to the side because I already have a lot chopped up here on the counter. I may grab a couple of more, but this is just a handful of what I may be using or adding to what I'm doing today. Also, I already have a lot, okay? One sec. I got some more right here in this basket, okay? So, I got to do something with all these eggs because it's a lot of pickling and a lot of freezing. But today, I am going to show you something different. Today, we are making an egg casserole. Now, I know it's probably a lot of other names out there for this, but there is a beautiful young lady that lives in DC, and we used to make these together all the time. And there was no fancy way of doing it. You just added whatever you wanted to add. And it made an excellent meal. I mean, it was real good. It was so delicious. But we used to put these together all the time with whatever we had. So I'm about to do the same thing. Now I have squash here on the counter. Let me show you. I have squash on the counter. I have three dozen eggs, I think this is. I mean, I think it's either three, one, two, I think this is three dozen eggs that I took out and set them to the side. And then my zucchini is here on my cutting board. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some onions, but before we do, if you decide to do this, cause I don't peel my squash and I don't peel the zucchini, I just get my little vegetable thing, my little scrubber. Some people use them for dishes, but I have one that I use specifically for my vegetables and I wash these, I wash the skins and I just give it a nice little scrub to make sure it's clean and give it a rinse and then bring it over here and cut it up. So now I'm going to grab about three onion and I'm going to get, and look, there's, I don't have a measuring thing for this. I'm eyeballing this. Okay. This is eyeball. Okay. <laughs> so, and then I have over here in this skillet here, I have about, I think that's two pounds of ground turkey, okay? And I am slowly cooking that and chopping this up. I got my thingamajig right here because I'm not about to whisk all them eggs by hand. I'm going to drop them all in here, okay? So let me go ahead and grab my onion, and we're going to get this show on the road. And get all my zucchini and squash in this bowl. And this was one large zucchini, you know how when they get away from you, they get like so, well, that's what that is. <laughs> so I got a nice big zucchini in here and about four or five, six or seven yellow squash in here. And I'm gonna put them in this bowl. I'm gonna add one more zucchini to this. Yes, I sure am. And I'm gonna get it chopped up. Put that to the side. Now, if you don't like squash, you don't have to add it. You can, this is a make it however you want to make it casserole. <laughs> Yo, the star of the show is going to be your eggs, okay? 
But I'm just showing you what we do when we have a whole bunch of zucchini and a whole bunch of squash and eggs that we need to do something with right now. And believe it or not, this is going to be our dinner. <laughs> Get all of this in there. And it's an easy dinner because we have been out in the garden all day. And believe it or not, the creator ran us from out there. <laughs> The God ran us from out there. He's like, look, get, get out. I got stuff to do. Get from out here. Okay, so now that I have that together, I'm going to go ahead and get my onion. Look, got some three nice-sized onion right here. Now, the bottom of this one don't look so good. I ain't throwing this away. I'm going to do it like my mama say. I'm going to cut that part off. Now, get this over here, and I'm going to get my onions chopped up. I'm going to season my ground turkey. And all I'm going to add to this is a couple of teaspoons of that pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a couple. That's it. And then I'm going to add some Tony Saturas. Y'all know how I feel about my Tony Saturas. So I'm going to add some of that. To that to the side. I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. Not a lot. Just a little. Because I'm also going to add some white pepper. If y'all have never had white pepper, y'all should try it. White pepper is so flavorful. It is so good. I prefer this all day over black pepper. And last but not least, I'm going to add my personal favorite, my smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I got to add some garlic. Now, I got minced garlic and I'm going to go in and add that much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give that a stir. Oh, yeah. Those seasonings are making it happen in here. All right, put the lid back on there. Now we're going to start with them. And I'm going to do a video. I think I will. Uh, question and answer. I've been getting a lot of canning questions, and those questions have also included where I get my spices. So y'all stay tuned for that Q&A video that I'm going to post, and I'm going to answer a few of your questions because I get a lot of questions from you all about canning. And some of the questions are very repetitive, and that lets me know that that's definitely something I need to answer for everybody, okay, or almost everybody. So y'all stay tuned for that video too. All right, now I'm going to sit those to the side. Sit this to the side. I'm going to grab my whatchamajigum right here. And we're going to get these eggs going. All right, so I'm getting my eggs cracked and put inside. And I'm putting a dozen and a half eggs in here at a time. Woo. You don't want no eggshell to fall in there. I be using the bowl because I don't want an eggshell to accidentally fall in. That's just too much stuff to try to fish out an eggshell. So look, I'm even adding some of our duck eggs. These babies are rich, <laughs> but they are good. 
You've never seen a duck egg. That's what it looks like. Looks like a chicken egg. Y'all hear that thunder? Pour that in there. I think I'm gonna add two duck eggs. Last one. Put my eggshells over here. Do y'all see what I do with my eggshells? I collect them. Mm -hmm. And these are going to go in a pot of boiling water. Because these, those are going to be, once they dry, I sit them out in the sun to dry. Once they dry, I grind them just about into a powder. And I feed them back to my chickens because it gives them calcium. I'll show you how I do that in another video. Last two eggs in, no eggshells. Going to pop this baby back on. And then I'm going to give it a mix. I don't know how people drink this raw like this. Some people do. I can't I can't even fathom that. Okay. Now. Come on. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to add in some milk. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to season this. I'm going to add in my Cajun seasoning. I'll tell you what, we can do that in the, in the plate. We give this a mix again. Now I'm going to get my casserole bowl or my baking dish and we're going to get this put together. Sit this to the side. Now I have my baking dish, my cooking spray. I'm going to give this a light spray. I'm going to pour my mix over into my bowl. Move this book. Now I'm going to season it. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. All right. Now, I'm going to start adding in my vegetables. I'm going to take a handful of onion. <laughs> I'm going to take a handful of onion, like so. Just put that all through there, just a couple of big handfuls. Just put it all in there like so. Might be a lot of onion, I know, but we love them around here. Then, I'm going to take my squash. Put that all in there like that. Back, let me just do this. Give it a mix. I think I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer. More squash, cause this is gonna be hearty, okay? It's gonna be good and hearty. Give that another mix. Like so. Now I'm going to grab another spoon. And I'm going to put in some of my ground turkey. This ground turkey is hot. 
Hope it don't scramble my eggs, but I'm gonna put it on there. Right over the top. Now normally you would let your stuff cool down so you don't end up with scrambled eggs in here, but it's gonna be okay. And I'm making two of these too, y'all. I'm making two. Now we could temper this by adding a little bit of hot liquid, but I'm not going through all of that. Now, give this a stir again, just to kind of get some of that turkey worked in. Like so. Now, now we cooking with fish grease. We hot. And just mash that down a bit. Y'all, this is overloaded. <laughs> now, gotta add a little bit of basil. And a little bit of parsley and what we're gonna do we're gonna sprinkle this parsley over the top like so mm-hmm put the lid on there and grab a little bit of this basil basil makes vegetables taste so good if you didn't know basil just takes vegetables to a whole nother level add a little bit more and that's that. And this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. Yes, indeed. Thing I forgot to add before I pop this baby in the stove, and that's shredded cheese. How could you forget the shredded cheese, right? So I'm getting that added, and I might even add some. I might even add some. Uh, cream cheese to this because that's just going to make that taste so good sprinkle some more of this over the top and then now we got ourselves a meal that we could get put in the oven this is going to be so good okay in the oven, this is gold. This is the other one without the squash. Can you believe there are some people in my household that don't like squash? Hmm. Huh? All right, so we got both of those casseroles in the oven. One is absolutely going to be delicious because it is loaded with squash. The other one is, you know, it'll be okay though. It'll be okay. You just ain't got no squash in it. And I ain't throwing no shade on nobody that don't like no squash, okay? But it's still going to be good. It's still going to be good. So I'm going to bring y'all back after 45, 55 minutes. I bring y'all back and we will see the end result of this delicious casserole. Y'all stay tuned. The timer has gone off and I'm getting ready to pull this out of the oven. Okay, y'all need to see this. Look at that. I am absolutely loving this. This is smoking hot. And I'm going to give it a minute to cool down before I cut into this, okay? So this one is the one that has all of the squash and onions and everything in it. Looking good. The only thing I forgot to put in here was the jalapeno peppers. But that's okay. I got plenty of cayenne in there. 
And then this one right here is the one that does not have all of the vegetables in the squash because everybody don't like squash. So I didn't put squash in that one. But these two have turned out fantastic. And we are going to give these a cut in just a second. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this bed bag cut. Mr. Homestead Heart ready to eat, y'all. <laughs> when that food gonna be ready? Is it ready right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Y'all, look at that. Mm-hmm. Remember all them vegetables I put in there? You can see them. See them? Nice and hearty. This is a hearty meal right here, okay? And I got some toast in the oven with some garlic butter. Remember that garlic butter I made? No, I didn't show y'all that. My bad. <laughs> Add whatever you like to this. If you want to serve this with salsa, 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 whatever, you want to serve it with this, with salsa, salsa, you can do that. Me, I'm going to add some pineapple jam to the side of this. Woo, I'm excited. <laughs> now, the good thing about all of these ingredients, the majority of them could have come from our homestead, but not all of them did. So, of course, the spices did not, but the milk, if we would have had a cow, we could have done it, right? The onions came from a different farm, but that's okay. We could grow our own onion. The eggs, and we have, we raise our, we could raise our own turkeys, right? I'm just showing you that if you have this space and you have a homestead, you can literally take what you have on your homestead and make a meal out of it. And so the components that we had to purchase to put in here, like the turkey, the milk, what else was it? The onion, we're going to be working on those next because our goal is to be able to grow our own groceries, raise our own groceries right so yeah that's what this is all about <laughs> so y'all that's gonna do it for today if you got a ton of squash and don't know what to do with it and your chickens won't stop laying eggs because they think they'll never lay again then try this delicious egg casserole i guarantee now like i said i know everybody got a different name but i call it just a plain egg casserole with extra stuff but that's going to do it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. We sure do appreciate each and every one of you, all of our wonderful, wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much for your support and following us on our journey. That really does mean so much to us. I mean, Mr. H and I, we talk about our subscribers all the time. And we laugh at your comments, some of you, because y'all got a lot of funny things to say. We appreciate y'all so much. Uh, <laughs> so thank y'all so much. I mean, we really appreciate you. Well, that's it. Sit that down. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell after you subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings from each and every one of you. We ready to eat. So I'll see you in the next video.